Hey guys, it's the July Lioness. How are you today? And we are at the library, uh, the gallery of Sims 4. And I thought I would attempt to show you some of my families. It depends on <laughs> uh, how much my computer can handle this, the recording software and all that. I see it's lagging already. But look at this down at the bottom. I never noticed that. 28 total lots in my library, 21 venues, 35,104 players currently online. Whew. Interesting. So anyway, if you guys like my, uh, any of my families and you play Sims 4, please, I'd be pleased as pickles. <laughs> If you want to download and play them, I just can't record gameplay. Unfortunately, my computer just can't ha can't hack it. So here are my families. They're, they duplicate themselves a lot. Uh, I like unusual names. I'm I'm goofy. I'm older. I'm not interested a whole lot in my uh, you know in the college age stuff. I just like different families and different characters and maybe some TV characters and um, just I just have fun with it so this is my newest family I haven't even played them yet I made them last night I my ancestry is Welsh and I just like un, kind of Welsh names and I guess I'm an, an Anglophile so this is the Britain family. And I wonder if I could show you these and create a sim, but this is Maeve Britain. Um, Maeve is an Irish name. This is Elfin Britain. Elfin is a Welsh name. That's her father. There's Beryl, the mother. Um, I thought at first Beryl was maybe a Welsh name, but it turns out it's Greek, but I liked it, so I decided, well, that's okay, she's, she's not, she's the wife anyway, so she's not, uh, um, doesn't have to be British. Now here's Paisley, she looks very British, doesn't she? They all have the long, thin noses, I think that's what makes them British. Also, slightly downcast eyes. And Paisley's twin, uh, Gwen. You've got to have a British person named Gwen. <laughs> um, they are twins, but obviously their personalities are quite different. So it's a family of five mother, father, twin teen girls, and for the cute factor, we have Maeve. <laughs> And here are her character, Chief of Mischief, Clumsy Goofball. I didn't want to make her too dark. Um, let's see, what's another one? I don't dare try going into Create a Sim. I think any movement is just going to lock up my recorder. I had so much fun with these names. This is the Delkini family, and here is the grandfather with his mohawk. This is Obsequiddle Delkini. Yes, Obsequiddle. <laughs> O-B-S-E-Q-U-I-T-T-A-L. Obsequiddle. I think I got it from obsequious, but I forget what obsequious means. <laughs> but Obsequiddle he is a, um, a chief of mischief, he's gloomy, he is romantic, and he is active. Now, I love this name, but I keep, keep forgetting how to pronounce it. Astrovinia. No, Astrovni Astrovnia, excuse me. Anstrovnia, okay, Anstrovnia. Delkini, the, his wife, the grandmother, and Strivnia. I wonder where these people are from, and Strivnia. Delkini sounds Greek or Italian, but and Strivnia? I don't know. T totally off the top of my head. Now, I had to have an easy name to pronounce, so we've got Lorena. Lorena Delkini, she is their 
daughter. I guess she's um, divorced, because otherwise, why would she have the last name of Delkini? And I guess her she her kids took her maiden name instead of their father's name. So he must be a real charmer. So this is Lorena's daughter, and Zika. 18 and Zika Delkini and her brother I love his name Twibdalo Twibdalo Delkini <laughs> Yes Twibdalo Delkini and they live in um, a very big house Well it was a little tough getting into it I think it's called Oakenstead and it's uh, next door to the Oh, what are their names? The the Kims. They're a Maxis game, a Maxis family, but they live in a nice big house. I love the big houses, the Victorian ones. I had a family in the Goth house. Had to re remodel it. Boy, they had some weird stuff in that house. <laughs> had to lighten it up, of course, and just take out the weird stuff. They had a knight in armor. I put that in the garden. I mean, that wasn't too bad, but the father, is it Mortimer, had this strange room in the attic. That actually turned out to be quite useful. <laughs> it was all, of course, decorated in red and black. <sighs> so if you take a goth house over, you're going to plan to do a bit of redecorating. But I love that. That's fun. I'd rather move them into a pre-existing house and have all the neat stuff and redecorate, plus have the $20,000 for the redecorating, than to have to build, scrape along from scratch. $20,000? Ugh. It's much more difficult. So that's the Delkini. Uh, let me see. Now, this isn't showing, is it? So, yeah, I kind of borrowed from my favorite TV show, and I created the Simon Brothers, AJ and Rick. And feel free to play with them. Uh, just yesterday, AJ eloped with this lady, Perspicacity, and her daughter, Edith Ann. Uh, Perspicacity is a widow, and her name actually comes from the word perspicacious, and perspicacious means um, acuteness of awareness or highly, highly perceptive. If somebody calls you perspicacious, they're saying they think you are highly perceptive, to the point almost of being psychic, so I consider that a compliment. So that's Perspicacity Earl, and she is neat, she is a snob, and she is good, and those are the same traits I gave to AJ. So I really wanted to match them up. Now here's the cute factor, Edith Ann. She is a social butterfly and outgoing. So I hope she will make friends with Maeve. That would be pretty cute. I love seeing all the little girls and boys making friends and them coming over to the house to play and it's fun if it's like oh that's one of mine <laughs> pretty cute uh let me see oh, okay here's my oh let's do these guys so this is the pie family yes i was in another weird mood <laughs> weird name mood so this is all right yes a human father alien wife and hybrid children so here we have Pumpkin Pie and his wife who is not disguised, that's Apple Pie, and their three children, Lemon Meringue <laughs> Pie, <laughs> Key Lime Pie, and Pecan Pie. <laughs> and you can see they have human features but pink skin alien skin so that makes them hybrids and you're not able to disguise them and I don't know maybe they'll 
if it's because they're children that you can't disguise them. I'm not sure. If, do I have alien children? Maybe I don't. I'll have to experiment with that. Can children disguise themselves? That's what I need to find out. Okay, this is a, another goofy name family. <laughs> bread Butter. The story of two families, Raisin Bread Butter, her sister Banana Bread, and Raisin's flirtatious husband, Peanut Butter, because we all know that peanut butter goes with everything. <laughs> and an aging alien woman, Tea Cozy, and her grown daughter, Shower Curtain. Yes, Shower Curtain. <laughs> Uh, they have difficulty grasping the concept of human names. So, okay, here is Raisin Bread. I had her in Sims 3, and I tried my best to recreate her here. I just thought she was so cool. So that's Raisin Bread. And her husband, Peanut Butter. <laughs> and Raisin's sister, Banana Bread. <laughs> <laughs> and here we have an elder, an elderly alien, Tea Cozy. Uh, yeah, there's Tea Cozy, and you can see she's alien with the alien makeup and all. And her daughter, Shower Curtain. Ah, <laughs> oh, geez, what a goofball. Uh, Smith Jones. They had to have a very inconspicuous name. So we've got alien sisters and their husbands. And they had a better grasp on the naming than Tea Cozy and Shower Curtain. So here is the human husband of one, John Smith. Yeah, right, that's his real name, uh-huh. And Mary August Smith. August because it's August. <laughs> Created in August. That's original. So we have John and Mary Smith. And here's Mary's sister, Jane. I liked Jane Jones. And Jane's husband, Dick Jones. Yeah, that's his real name, sure. So there's some alien families for you guys who want to play with aliens. And let me see. All right. This is... A couple I'm trying to get together romantically is to the point where I even moved this guy in in with her. This is July Lioness and Andy Lion. And they're just roommates right now because July is being really freaking stubborn. Andy's like the friend of the world and romantic and he loves music and he's a good guy I mean he's just like the sweetest guy on the planet and July's just blah uh, July was dating AJ for a little bit but um, she just is too cold so you know here's July again oh that's the old version yeah that's right I think I, I remodeled her so that's an old version of July and I think this is, is this a newer version yeah, I think this is a, the newer version. I keep tweaking her. And then we got the Simons. Alright, here's some more silly names. Here's the Smiley Sisters. We've got... I've changed her hair. So this is Peace. This is Love. And this is Flower. So that's the Smiley Sisters. And I think this was the, my first goofy name idea. This is the Fiber Sisters. This is Macrame Fiber. <laughs> Knit Fiber. Um, Knit kind of likes Rick Simon, so we might try and get them together. Knit Fiber. Knit fiber, yeah. <laughs> Hair looks kind of like a ball of yarn, a little bit. 
And of course, crochet fiber. You can't have knit without crochet. <laughs> I'm a knitter, so and I'd like to have to throw macrame in there because I used to do macrame. I could have another one named latch hook. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe we'll adopt a little kid and name it latch hook or something. <laughs> Uh, it's all about themes. Now these are a couple of rocker guys. Um, Rain. Robin Rain actually. He is modeled after one of my favorite singers. And another one, Glenn Beatnik. Maybe people recognize him. If you're a fan of this guy you would know that you would recognize his name. But he's an alien seem to fit. <laughs> now we get into the alien, almost pure alien families. This, this is the Borealis family. Here is Bernice. She's insane. She's not a real happy camper. This is Boris. Boris is confused. Boris is kind of in the life of crime, but he's sort of cleaning up his act. He's struggling. Here is Brother Barry, who is a goody two shoes. He's a cop. And here is Alice, who's a teenager. Now, I'm putting together an alien enclave in um, Oasis Springs, and so you, of course, have to have. Oh, they aged them up. See, they aged them up without my knowing it. So now suddenly we've got... Betty was pregnant, but I totally missed the birth. And in another game, they have twin twin daughters, both white. But now we've got a, a white and a black. So I'll have to check out what's going on in that game. <laughs> but if anybody's familiar with um, aliens and UFOs, they're was a movie called The um, UFO Incident about Betty and Barney Hill. Um, they were a, a biracial couple in the early 60s. They lived in Vermont and they uh, were experiencing missing time and they were hypnotized and the hypnosis sessions revealed um, horrifying memories of being abducted and this was the first I guess the first like modern day documented case of UFO abduction so I thought it'd be interesting to throw them into my alien enclave and just see um, see where it takes us so there's Barney Hill uh, in the movie he was played by um, Oh, I'm blank. James Earl Jones, Darth Vader's voice. So he's a Barney hasn't needs to gain a little more weight. <laughs> oh, I could put him in a Darth Vader outfit, couldn't I? <laughs> He'd be right at home. Oh, that's funny. I got to try that. So anyway, yeah, and the wife in the movie was played by Estelle Geddes, who was Roseanne's mother in the TV series the sitcom Roseanne. So seriously, if you want to know more about the Hills, they were real people. I think they both passed away now, but Betty and Barney Hill. The movie is called The UFO Incident. You can probably find it on YouTube. It's um, starring James Earl Jones and Estelle Geddes, and it's a quite, quite a good movie. Uh, of course, they didn't have they did have kids, I think, but, in, you know, in later in life, and it wasn't a part of the movie, but these two are, are so much in love that they, they had to have children, and they deserve a, a happy life, and uh, I just thought it'd be kind of interesting to put them in there in the alien enclave. You can't have aliens without Betty and Barney Hill. <laughs> um, so let's see. I've got a lot of kids here. Okay, they're serious. Another alien human family for the Enclave.
Uh, so we have, oh yeah, they have a nice house. That was fun redoing their house. So here's Suzanne Sirius. She is, okay, she's a teen, the teen daughter. She's the human. I think you have to have one human in every every household. I think you, you have to start out with a human and then when you add a sim you can make it an alien if you want to. So here is the mother, Serena. Here is... Oh, Sarah's sister. Okay, so it's two sisters, Serena and Sarah. I haven't played these. Oh, okay, younger sister. Okay, let me check this here. Okay, so okay, she's an adult. Serena's the adult. Suzanne is a teen. Sarah is a teen. All right, yeah, it's a mother with three teenagers. Okay, and Simon. Simon's nice looking. So my computer is lagging. I am going to stop at this point and maybe later I will show you some more in another video. So thanks for stopping by guys. I hope you enjoyed this. This has been the July Lioness and feel free to download and play any of these. They are for all of us simmers to enjoy. Take care.